It was just past eight in the evening and the sun was slowly fading below the skyline. The stars above were beginning to show their faces and the ocean waves grew colder by the minute. With just shells and a few pieces of trash in hand, she knew it was time to call off another failed search day. Four days have passed since the disappearance of Daphne's mother, Isla. She's combed the beaches of Sulani from sunup to sundown each and every day since then, completely ignoring and neglecting her basic needs for food, water, hygiene, and sleep. This neglect was physically and emotionally exhausting, and the only thing that helped her through these feelings were cuddles with her gorgeous short-haired cat, Pearl. She always made Daphne feel loved, safe, and secure even in times of peril. Daphne's feet sifted through the stone cold sand as she made her way back to her lonely island shack. The moonlight reflected off the wet sand, lighting the path back home. The sound of the waves crashing against the shore drowned out the thoughts inside her head, helping her feel just a little bit better. She looked down and gripped the seashell necklace her mom gave her, reminding her of that anti-mermaid advertisement that was funded by no other than the SimCity Science Facility. She knew she had to do some digging to find the answers about not only her mother's disappearance, but the disappearance of other mermaids across the island as well. The only way Daphne would be able to find answers was from the inside. She knew what had to be done. In the midst of her thoughts, she picked up the pace and began to head the opposite direction towards the local library at the center of town. From there, she jumped on a computer, desperately searching for open positions at the science lab. Luckily, there was one as a science technician just calling her name. Upon printing, she snatched a pencil from the information desk and began filling in the application. Following a few sly glances of her surroundings, she secretly forged information about a few crucial questions. But what did you expect? She's the chief of mischief. Will she find out what happened to her mom or will the Barry legacy vanish into the waves of Sulani forever? Many twists and turns lie ahead on this journey, but for now, the story of Daphne Barry begins here. Hey everyone, it's Pixelade here, and welcome to the very first part of the Sims 4 Not So Berry Legacy Challenge. Now, before we get into anything, I wanna put a few things out on the table and make sure we're clear with this. This challenge is not my own, and I would never claim it as my own. I would never get away with that anyway. Just like I do in part one of every single challenge series that I've done on my channel, I would like to shout out the creators of this challenge, a link to this challenge containing the creators of the challenge, rules, guidelines, and more will be pinned at the top of the comment section below. I've always been very fascinated with this challenge and ever since the new expansion pack came out, I've been dying to put some sort of island twist on it. I do wanna let you guys know that no rules or guidelines were modified at all. I'm simply playing this challenge on an island with the off the grid lot trait and have woven the rules into the backstory. I didn't just just want to title this series Not So Berry either. I wanted to give it a little fun twist, so Not So Berry Off The Grid sounded perfect. Now before we start any gameplay, I want to introduce you guys to myself, especially if this is your first time clicking on one of my videos. My name is Matt, also known as Pixelate, and I create Sims content right here on YouTube. I'm known for Sims news, but I also like to do let's plays, discussion, and speculation videos. I'm so excited to dive into the story of Daphne Barry. Now you guys already heard the backstory to her, the backstory monologue, which took me so much time to write. So of course, I wanna thank the Little Lemons for coming to my Twitch stream to help me write, plan ideas, and throw the stuff down on paper. I'm seriously so excited for this one, and I just love the whole concept of it. I've always loved the idea of the Not So Berry legacy challenge and I just want to combine it with the new pack. So you got to hear a little bit about Daphne's shack in the backstory monologue but now you can actually see it. I did not create this. This was actually created by a simmer on the gallery which I will show you right now. I did save it to my library so that I could access it very quickly but it is in no way mine. It was created by Towali Sims. I hope I'm pronouncing your name correctly and if I am not I apologize but this lot is absolutely beautiful and I highly recommend that you go check them out and save love download that lot. It's amazing. 
My favorite part about it, honestly, is the little tiny outhouse over here in the corner. I did change some aspects of it. So over here, of course, this is where Daphne will be taking care of her hygiene needs. We have a little tub over here. And since we're playing off the grid, it's basically the Not So Berry Legacy Challenge, but off the grid, you can't take regular showers. You can't take regular bubble baths. You have to take quick showers. So I assume that it's probably not gonna put her hygiene up. Now, I've never explored off the grid before, so this is going to be a brand new thing for me. A lot of simmers were telling me it's really buggy, Matt, good luck, but honestly, we'll work with it. So like I said, she's got the shower and the tub. She has a little sink right over here where she can wash and brush her teeth quickly. We do have a toilet. I think this one was found in by the bug. There's no plumbing, but it does let you use it. And honestly, this toilet is perfect because you can obviously tell it's not connected to any sort of plumbing. Plumbing. There's a bucket underneath, so uh, we're just gonna pretend with our imagination that she's gonna have to, you know, every now and then walk on over to the water and dump whatever's in there out there. <laughs> I'm just hoping that it doesn't like slowly fade up back into her fish traps again. And then she's catching fish to sell and it's contaminated with whatever she's put in this toilet. That would not be good, but you know what? We're gonna use our imagination to not imagine that. There are some little decor buckets of water here, some ship wreckage right behind. Of course, they added a second palm tree behind the outhouse because I figured two looked better than one. There's a little tiny shipwreck over by the water. This has nothing to do with the story, but I thought that it looked really nice placed here and it really helped give this little lonely island shack the vibe that it needed. It just felt very, you know, abandoned and isolated and putting that really help things out. So like I said earlier, this is where she's gonna be catching her fish. Now the problem with this is she's actually not a carnivore. She's a vegetarian. So she's not going to be able to eat any of this fish, I believe. I mean, she can eat it. She definitely has the ability to eat it, but it's probably gonna end up making her very sick. So we probably won't do that. We'll probably end up just catching fish and selling it just to get her some extra money. And that's another thing that I wanted to talk about is she's actually at zero simoleons. I wanted to start this challenge off with absolutely nothing. I want her to work her way up from the ground up. And honestly, it's just gonna make things fun. That's how I like to play my challenges. When I put my little spin on things, which is okay. If you ever wanna put a spin on a challenge or kind of throw your brand into it, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. You can do that. It's always important to put as much creativity and uniqueness into something as you can. So I'm not gonna be following this challenge 100%. I'm going to let you know that right now because that would not be very fun for me. I want to adapt this to my gameplay and my story and that's exactly what I'm doing here. So of course she's gonna start out with no money. She's probably gonna have to eat some fish even though she's a vegetarian. I mean, if it's all that she's able to cook up or get, especially if she has low money, then she might have to just suck it up for a few days, sadly. This is where she's going to eat. I absolutely love this. It's just a little picnic bench underneath of a little tent, of course, with some tiki torches next to it. And it's funny, I mentioned the tiki torches. I just bought some tiki torches outside for my porch and they are amazing. I love them so much. This is seriously so cute inside of here. I did change a few things around, but a lot of this actually already came. So there's a little decorative table and look who happens to be sitting on it. Pearl, the short, Haired kitty, she is seriously the sweetest cat and I don't know why she's making this face right now, trust me, she's not that angry. So she is the cutest cat in the world and she has seriously the best personality. I'm gonna show you guys right now. So Pearl is actually frisky, so she loves to play. She's very affectionate and loving, but she's very talkative. She's very vocal, so she's gonna be meowing a lot, making a lot of noise, and who knows, she could even keep Daphne up late at night, but we won't talk about that. Daphne's just happy to have another friend on this island with her to kind of get her through things because Daphne's mom has been missing for a while. It's been almost a week now. Daphne's mom was actually a mermaid and she disappeared out of the blue. She doesn't know what is going on. All that she remembers is she saw an advertisement in the newspaper about anti-mermaid research going on at the science facility. So now in order for her to find more answers, she feels like she's gotta do it from the inside and that she's gotta join the science career and kind of dig around and find out what's going on. And of course, that happens to be one of the rules of the challenge is you have to complete the science career. So I wanted to weave that into my story or weave the story into the rules. 
So she has joined the career and she actually starts tomorrow. She's gonna be heading at around 10 o'clock in the morning and she wants to have two breakthroughs. I don't know when they happen, if they happen randomly or not, but of course, when they do, we will do them because I want her to get promoted and move up as fast as we can considering that she's completely broke. Broke is a joke, honestly. So that's kind of the backstory. Of course, there are more things that I want to introduce to you guys. And of course, there goes Pearl. Already super, super vocal. Oh, and you're on your hind legs. That is so cute. Oh my goodness. I'm already in love with this kitty. And you know what? Pearl reminds me so much of my own cat, Meepo. I don't know if you guys have seen, but Meepo is my baby 11 week old kitten that I just adopted not too long ago. And she's seriously the sweetest thing in the world. I love her to death and I will do anything for her. She reminds me so much of Meepo. So I think I'm really gonna fall in love with this cat. But anyways, she's taking a nap right now, just kind of enjoying the uh, warm summer weather right now. It's currently sunny and warm outside. Now, if we open up the calendar, I'm seeing a new weather type here. On Tuesday, we're actually expecting monsoons, which is a new weather type that was added with Island Living in integration with the Seasons Expansion Pack. So weather looks good all week, except for Tuesday, which is going to be monsoons, and Friday, of course, which is going to be windy. And there are no holidays at all this week. So things are looking kind of quiet for her, but I do want her to go ahead and f maybe make a friend or something, maybe find a boyfriend, I don't know, because with her aspiration, she needs to become chief of mischief, basically. Yes, it's true. She's very mischievous, very mischievous. And that's exactly why she forged a lot of things on the application to the science facility. She's got to find a way in and she's willing to do absolutely anything to get in, no matter what. So I'm gonna read you guys the rules. Of course, as I play through the first day, I'm gonna read you guys the rules. The link to them can be found down in the description box below. These are the official Not So Berry Legacy Challenge rules found on Lil Simsy's Tumblr. And it's perfect that she sits down and starts playing chess because she's actually going to need the logic skill for this challenge anyway. Daphne's new skill in logic will allow her to play card games, chess, and use scientific equipment. As the skill level increases, the chance of winning games is also increased and new interactions will become available on the microscope and observatory. So that could be another thing that we purchase in the future is a microscope, but the thing is, is because we have the off the grid trait, I don't know if we're gonna be able to use it because it could potentially need electricity. Some microscopes do, some microscopes don't, and I don't know how that works on The Sims, but we're just gonna have to basically take it one step at a time and see. Not so Barry Legacy Challenge. Do you like the rainbow? Do you like the idea of playing with Barry Sims, but hate Barry Sims? Do you want to mess around with aspects of the game you've never used before? Boy, do I have the challenge for you. Welcome to the Not So Barry Legacy Challenge, a 10 generation legacy with a focus on bright colors and new experiences. Basic rules. Number one, each heir must represent the color of the generation. For example, hair, makeup, clothing, but brightly colored skin is not necessary. These aren't actually Barry Sims. That's the joke. Of course, this is optional, but a big portion of the fun. Number two, the colors of the spouses don't matter as they aren't part of the challenge unless otherwise stated. You can do whatever you please with them. Number three, money cheats can be used, but not excessively. Suggestion, use free real estate for your first home, but no cheats afterwards. And that's exactly what I did here, is I used free real estate, I had her move into this house, and instead of upping her money, I actually lowered her money, because I really wanted to make this challenge super fun, so we're starting her off with zero simoleons. Number four, you may live wherever you please unless something is specified in the rules of a generation. And I looked, and there actually isn't. So, for living where I please, Matt pleases to have his sim live on an island in Sulani. So that's exactly what I did. Number five, every generation is supposed to complete both the career and aspiration of the heir unless explicitly stated otherwise. So of course the career for the first heir is going to be this one right here, which is the lab technician. And for some reason my game just got super, super laggy. I don't know what is going on. Is Matt running out of space on his computer or something just like, I don't even know. It's crazy. It happens every now and then when I'm filming. Like my frame rate will just drop and then go back up to normal like nothing even happened. And I'm like, no, 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 no. That's not how it works. Sit back down and play more chess because I want you to really, really focus on getting your logic skill up. And she also just became best friends with Pearl. Oh, and Pearl's a frisky cat. They love to run around and get hyper. She's also materialistic. Daphne is materialistic. Materialistic sims need to buy new things and enjoy admiring and discussing their belongings. Even though she doesn't own much, I mean, she lives in this little tiny shack in the middle of nowhere. I mean, on an island. She doesn't own much, 
But you know what? She's grateful and happy for everything that she does own. It's not about what you don't have. It's about what you do have. And of course, acquired the logic skill, which we did read earlier. And I do have a ton of mods installed on my game. Like I've literally like every single mod that you can possibly think of. No, not really. I'm just being dramatic, but I have a lot of mods. So of course they all had to load up and that could be why my game was laggy at first. Number six is keep the lifespan on normal. And finally, number seven, if you play this challenge and want to share it with us, go ahead and post with hashtag not so berry so we can see. So the first generation is actually mint as you guys can see. I will take you guys through the outfits really quickly so you can see. I did not match mint perfectly. Please don't be mad at me. I'm sorry. There are different colors to mint. There is a more blue mint. There is a more green mint. Of course, there's peppermint, spearmint. Like there are tons of different mints. So not every outfit is going to match and not all outfits are the same kind of mint. I seriously did my best in Create a Sam and I hope you guys are okay with it. But first thing I wanna do is zoom into her face. She is absolutely beautiful and I love the makeup that I use on her, especially the eyeshadow. Oh, and I love this hair so much too. So this is her everyday outfit here. I'm just going to kind of swing her through some of these if I can. Oh wait, oh, I was wrong. That is not her everyday outfit. That is actually her hot weather outfit. This right here is her everyday outfit. Here is her formal attire. Absolutely love this dress. Her athletic wear, her sleepwear. I know the slippers look kind of weird. I might actually take those off for her eventually, but it's up to you guys. If you don't want her to wear them, just let me know down in the comments. Her party wear. Oh, I'm just loving the way these outfits look. I know that looks kind of green, but it's seriously the closest thing that I can find. At least the closest thing I could find that I liked. And also look at the necklace. It came with Island Living and it just really matches not only the whole vibe of the island and you know, the pack, but it really goes with her outfit and everything. It's just perfect to me. Up next, of course, is her swimwear. I believe this one came with Island Living. Maybe, you know what? I'm not even gonna say I believe it did because I honestly have no clue. It probably didn't. You guys already saw her hot weather outfit, so I'm just gonna take you right into her cold weather outfit. She probably won't ever be in this, but you never know. Some crazy climate change thing could happen on the island of Sulani, and maybe she will be. Maybe it'll snow, maybe it won't be. You never know. But this is what that looks like. Also, I just realized that I forgot to put a cat bowl and some cat toys for the cat. The cat's obviously gonna need something, so I'm gonna go ahead and place those really quickly. Alrighty, so I deleted that little decor table. I mean, we couldn't really sit at it or do anything with it, so I just chucked it and I got our cat a little cat condo, scratching post, and a blue food bowl course matches the blue theme that we have going on in here and also a few cat toys so of course I kept her money at zero and I should have placed these th why are you singing I should have placed these things before I even started the video but just completely forgot about it I've been so antsy to just start the challenge that I forgot so I apologize and why are you starting to sing Daphne is taking the first steps into becoming a professional singer where did you get that from, Daphne? Put the microphone down. You're gonna be going into the science career. What What even is that? No, 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 sit down, play chess, continue working on that, and I'm gonna continue reading the rules. So the first generation is mint. You're a mischievous scientist that really loves the color mint. You're career driven, but still make time for silly pranks and outings with your closest friends. You love luxury and want the best for yourself and your family. Yes, she wants the best for herself and her family. Her mom is missing. She has no clue where this woman is. She loves her to death. She wants the best for her, so she's going to do anything to find her. And that means slipping her way into the science profession, working through it to find out answers. You know what? I feel like that fits perfectly and her traits really go with that too. So in this generation, the traits that we have to have are a vegetarian, jealous, and materialistic. The aspiration is chief of mischief, like I said earlier, and the career is scientist. It's basically that simple. There are only three rules for this generation. We have to master the scientist career and complete chief of mischief aspiration, which I feel like we can do pretty fast. We also have to master mischief and logic skills, and that's why I kind of had her get a little head start over here on that. And I wanted to sit down here and play this and just cue this up over and over and over again because I want her to get that done. I want her to just work on her logic skill. The sooner we get this done, the better. Of course, I do want to find her a partner. I do want her to find a boyfriend and fall in love and have a baby so that we can have our heir for the second generation, which is Rose. But until then, I am going to have her focus on her skills and her career and kind of get that out of the way before she falls in love. Because let's be honest, once she falls in love, she's going to focus 
pretty much on nothing but that romantic relationship and the child that she'll end up having from it. So work and skills come now. And last but definitely not least, the last rule is to complete the elements collection. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this. I don't know how well this is going to work out. I'm going to be honest with you guys. I think I tried to complete the elements collection once before and it did not work out very well. But I'm crossing my fingers and I'm hoping that I will be able to complete it. And of course, with your guys' help because I have no idea where to begin. So if you guys already want to put some ideas down in the comment section, where do I begin the elements collection? What does it mean? Where do I go? What do I do? I have no clue how to start that. I know you have to send like rocks to Geo Council or something. Is that basically all you have to do? And do they like send you something back? I'm not too sure about it, but I would appreciate a little bit of feedback on that if you guys don't mind. Pearl's currently out back just chasing her tail on the table. She's very content and happy. She's an outdoor cat, you know? She's not one of those indoor cats where she goes outside, it becomes dangerous for her. She literally lives outdoors. This house is outdoors. It doesn't really have closed windows or doors. And she just loves roaming around. And I figured giving her the frisky trait would be perfect for her because of course she would be able to play with all of her toys, run around the island and just have fun and excite explore. Now, I wanted her to kind of have a dog, but the issue with having a dog, especially on the island, is you have to bathe them. And with the off the grid lot trait, I believe you can't bathe your dogs. And same goes with toddlers. You can't bathe them in the ocean either. I feel like with off the grid, they should have made an option to where you could bathe them in the ocean or at least like splash them to help get their hygiene up or something like i feel like that would have really helped here so we have a pet obsession notification like almost all pets pearl can get inexplicably obsessed about things around the house keep an eye on your furry companions to discover their unique interests and not just interests either cats and dogs also have unique fears too so she could be scared of something though most of the time i've seen pets in this game only be afraid of electronics we really don't have anything like that so i think she'll be fine but who knows maybe she'll like be afraid of the grill or something when we do it and she is getting kind of hungry and she also has to use the bathroom so we'll have her get up off of here and take care of her needs in a minute of course i'm just waiting for a lot of skill to go up there we go daphne now has a chance to gain slightly more lot of skill from chess and card games than normal Oh, that's right, card games. I totally forgot that we could do card games too. Professional singing and saying, no, we, we might as well just delete these. Can I, we can set it to zero? How do I get rid of it? That is so funny. Oh my God. I wish there was a way I could set it to like negative like five or something and just completely get rid of it. Oh, I would. I really would if I could. Just completely set the trait to negative five and get rid of it, but I don't think that's possible. So we're gonna have her close out of this now that she uh, got her logical up to level three, which is nice. Pretty quick, pretty quick, guys. I think that generation one is gonna be pretty easy. I think the only setback is gonna be that freaking elements collection. I already know I'm gonna struggle with it. And she already wants to go to the bathroom, so she can do that. We'll have her come out here and use the restroom. She can't take fertility awareness tests. Oh, cause she can't afford it. That's right, she's got no money. She's got no money. I do want to let you guys know I have Wicked Whims installed and I do plan on using it just because of the level of realism. I saw those nude panties, girl. I saw those nude panties. You weren't tricking no one. And I like that they put those in there so that nothing really shows. And I do have streamer mode enabled. That's why you weren't able to see anything so that when I'm streaming or recording a video, then nothing is shown. It's just blocked out by a blur or a mosaic. So I get the realism of the mod. I get the ovulation periods. Of course, I get the fertility test. I get the chances of pregnancy and the birth control. And I love all those aspects. It really helps the storytelling. In my opinion, everyone has a different way of playing. But in my opinion, I love that level of storytelling. Did you wash your hands? Wash your hands quickly again. Come on. Be quick with it. Be quick with it. And she's pulling water from her buckets. But sis, if you're, if you're running out of water, you can run back and grab no water. Okay, you can grab as much water as you need. That's not the problem. She's feeling very tense. How come? Warmish wash from washing hands off the grid. Water was applied, but the lingering firm and smell begs the question, is anything actually cleaner? So basically she washed her hands with some dirty ass lukewarm water. I mean, it did sit in this bucket all day and it was pretty hot and sunny. So it warmed it up nicely, but you never know. Flesh eating bacteria could have been chilling in there and she can't grow because she's got no money. I knew this would be a problem guys. So our first meal is gonna have to be a catch. 
whether she's a vegetarian or not. Grilling? You can grill? She's trying to eat, but she can't. Look at the bar on the side. She's like trying to eat, but she can't because she's got no money. So the game is like completely glitching and freaking out on her. Well, since she has no money, you guys, the first catch is going to have to be free even though her stomach will probably not agree with it because she's a vegetarian. And look at that sunset in the background, gorgeous. Sulani sunsets are seriously gorgeous. Like the aesthetic of this world is on point. It might be my favorite world as far as theming and aesthetic and all of that, but she can fish for now. We'll put this on speed three and she'll probably catch a decent amount. Um, we're gonna have to eat whatever she catches. So hopefully you got some Pepto-Bismol stocked up in there somewhere, girl, because this ain't gonna be good. Oh, she caught some things. Daphne Berry has caught a new fish perch. Daphne recorded information about the discovery in her notebook. Click to learn more. Daphne caught a perch, an invasive species that damages the local ecosystem. Really? I did not know that. Removing invasive species from local waters makes a difference. Keep it up. So is that part of the new conservation career that they added with Island Living? Because that's actually going to end up being a really good thing. If we're out here fishing, we're going to pretty much clean up the island because we're going to be catching all of the bad fish. And I'm totally down for that. That's awesome. It's worth seven simoleons, guys. What we can do, and it's up to you. I don't know if we should do this. Should we keep catching fish and then sell them and then make some food on the grill? Or should we eat the fish, have an upset stomach, and then have no money? Yeah, you're right. I don't want to not have no money. And she works tomorrow, so it's going to be a minute until she gets some money. Plus, we have to feed Pearl. Pearl's probably hungry, this poor little... Look at how fast she's running. She reminds me of Meepo so much, but a lot bigger. She's definitely going to need some food because her food bowl is still empty, and we can't even afford to fill it up. So you know what the rules are, and I've said this on Twitter, and I will say it again. I don't care what anyone says. The number one rule of being a pet owner is you always feed your fur baby before you feed yourself. If your cat is hungry and you are hungry, guess who eats first? They do. We're gonna fill up the food bowl, we're gonna call Pearl to eat, and then of course we'll come back and do a little more fishing after she did that. So sell that fish, make sure that she has something in her bowl to eat. Come on, Pearl. Dinner is served, my dear. Dinner is served. Come on up here and eat. Oh, I love the butterflies. I wanna catch the, how do I catch the butterfly? How do I catch the butterflies? Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Something's glitching out my game. Look at this bar on the side. It's like going crazy. I think she's just like trying to eat off the grill, but because she has no money, then she's like not allowed to, but oh well. She's gonna have to wait to eat. That's the rule. The pets always eat before humans do. Making a difference from catching an invasive fish. Look at how beautiful nature is when it prospers. I like that. That is so cool. I've never played with the off to grid lot trait before, so it's really gonna make this challenge super, super interesting, even though I've changed absolutely none of the rules or guidelines of the challenge. Just putting my own little pixelated lemon spin to it. In the background, it looks like we have an active volcano. I believe we are on the same island as the- Yeah, that's right. I forgot about this, guys. The active volcano is literally Oh no. This is gonna be a problem. Drop it like it's hot, baby. Drop it like it's hot. That's gonna be a major problem because I think our, one of our lot traits actually is not in our favor. Yeah. We have oceanic paradise. This lot has an abundance of ocean life. Swimming in the ocean is an inspiring endeavor and dolphins and rare fish are easily found here. That'll make it really easy for her to fish and basically sell it, you know, for money. And of course we have the off the grid. This lot isn't connected to electricity or plumbing, meaning no utility bills either. Talk about natural living. Now someone told me that it's glitched and you will still get uh, utility bills. And if it is, of course, I will just cheat to pay the bills and put the money at whatever it was before the bill came, just to make sure that the bill is, wait a minute, if there's no electricity, why are we having lights here? Oh, I see, those could just be little, tiny yeah it's like a little candle light i think that's why that makes sense okay so we have volcanic activity this lot is near an active volcano beware of earthquakes steam vents and occasional lava bombs a lot of people were telling me that i don't need to worry too much about that lot oh no 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 it is not you i have seen you in my streams i have seen you in my stream sir and i see the things the naughty naughty things that you no you are not Peeping Tom, no you are not. 
get off my lot in the name of Jesus. I rebuke you from this lot, sir. I rebuke you. How do I get him off my lot? I know that there's a way that we can get him out of here besides, uh, you know, doing that. Marriage, cheat needs. No, I just want to get him out of here. How do I get him out of here? Remove from family, add to family, wicked, whatever. Um, 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 I just want to get him out of here. How do I do it? <laughs> Invite Tom to go fishing? Nah, I don't want to do none of that. I just want to kick him off my lot. I know that there's a way that you can do it too with some of the- What are, now you're gonna build a sandcastle and talk about crabs? You're get out of here. You're stupid. Oh, she just had a breakthrough out of nowhere. Oh my god, Eureka Daphne Berry had her first breakthrough and wrote down an idea for a momentum conserver. Click on the notebook button at the top of the phone menu to learn more about it. Interesting. Yeah, let's let's check this out here. Where's the notebook? Where's the notebook? Where's the where's the where's the notebook? Looks like the fishing area is too crafty for Daphne. Try fishing elsewhere. Yeah, I kind of figured that I would say some crap like that. Where's the notebook? We don't have a notebook option. We have silent phone and change skin color, but we don't have any other options here. There's nothing here that says notebook. So how am I gonna go and look through that, my friends? How are we gonna do it? How we gonna, how we, how we, how we, how we, how we gonna do it? <laughs> a new scientific breakthrough. All that ruminating has paid off. Of course, she's very hungry. Her hunger is low and she's gonna become ravenous in 24 hours. So what are we gonna do? She can't really fish here. I mean, she's feeling focused. She might be able to catch more fish. Oh, and her fishing skill is gonna go up faster now that she's feeling focused. Okay, awesome. She reached fishing level two. Daphne can now catch bass. Ba Matthew, if you can just say it correctly. Ma <laughs> Daphne can now catch bass, koi, and trout from fishing spots that contain them. Daphne can catch neon anglefish. That's awesome. She also just caught a voodoo. Oh my god, $950 for a voodoo doll? What? It won't let her open the notebook. I think it's because we're off the grid, guys. She's so, I hope that doesn't stop us from our science career, not being able to open this. We probably just can't open it on our home lot. I'm thinking that when we actually get to work, I think we're gonna be fine. But God, gosh darn it, I almost cursed. Matthew is trying to turn over a new leaf with Let's Plays. I'm trying to keep it PG, family friendly. Even though I got the Wicked Whims mod, I got the streamer friendly mode. You guys, I'm trying my best here. I'm trying to keep it PG and very, very, very friendly. <laughs> Gosh darn it. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it PG over here, okay? Just let me do my thing. Let me do my thing. She's got another fish here. We'll sell this for 39 simoleons. And I think we're pretty much good for that. I mean, we almost have a thousand freaking simoleons out of the blue. This dude over here is dreaming about fish making sandcastles. If you're dreaming about fish so much, then go fish. Go fish, baby. Nothing's stopping you. We can brew an herbal remedy, but I do want her to just grill. Since she is vegetarian, she does have a lot of options. Here we have veggie burgers, tofu dogs, and grilled fruit. We'll have her do grilled fruit because it is the lowest in price, and we need to save as much money as we possibly can right now. What's the deal? Oh shoot, I forgot a litter box for the cats. Oh no. <laughs> No wonder why. No wonder why you're sitting there running around like crazy because you holding all that poo poo. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad for you, my friend. I'm sorry. Can we get one of the automatic litter boxes that like automatically cleans itself? That would be awesome. All right, we'll put one of them there and we'll make sure it's blue. And are you gonna go and use the bathroom now? Go ahead, you can run inside and go poo poo. I put a litter box for you, my dear. There you go, you running inside. Do you say, my poop is coming, mommy. My poop is coming. <laughs> This is adorable. I don't know how I forgot that, guys. I don't know how I forgot. <laughs> the way that they use the bathroom is just funny to me. This creepy ass dude in the yellow speed. You better not, no, I thought he was, what's the finger mean? You know what, we won't talk about that. We do not know what that means. We won't be talking about that at all whatsoever. I said I was gonna keep this rated PG. So we're gonna keep this rated PG. Unless by that finger he met rock, paper, scissors, shoot. That could be the only thing. Oh my God, look at his spine. You need a cheeseburger, boy! <laughs> okay, enough, Matthew, enough. Daphne, clean up your plate. How, how is she gonna clean this up? Is she allowed? Oh, she's actually allowed to use the sink to clean a dish, but she's probably got to do it real quick. Yeah, I just got to do it real quick. And she's got lots of leftover fruit, but we don't have a fridge and we can't have a fridge because it would use electricity. 
So we're gonna have to just basically hold it in our inventory until it expires in nine hours. And we'll probably end up having one more serving of it before it does go bad. Thank God we have a trash can, that's always great. I also really like the footprints, guys. Look at the footprints that your Sims leave as they walk around. I love that, I just absolutely love that. Her social need is getting low, so of course we'll have her socialize with other Sims when she goes into work tomorrow for her first day, but she is tired and it is two o'clock in the morning, so we're gonna have her find her little bundle of love. We're gonna have her give her tons of love before heading to bed, of course, so we're going to praise her. What, we, what is her name, Opal? Opal Pearl. <laughs> <laughs> no, not really, Matthew Opal. Where did you get that from? We're gonna praise her. We will play with uh, laser pointer. We will pet, of course, pamper on couch and hug. Just give her lots of love, lots of attention. She is an affectionate cat, so she's, of course, going to demand these things either way. So you might as well, you know, play with her now and make her happy now before climbing into bed and having her bat at our face, waking us up for food and attention because that's exactly what my little kitten does. And I've learned to feed her before bed and then when she has energy, I wear her out and I play with her. I do the laser pointer for like 20 minutes and then I grab the little feather toy and run around the house and she goes crazy. And then by the time that, you know, I go to bed and, and by the time it's time for me to relax and fall asleep, she's falling asleep too and she's worn out. I've learned that. If you do not wear your cat out before bed, they will keep you up all night. It's not good. Not good. Is she about to get another skill up too? What is it? It's like like the social skill or something? What is she gaining? That must be like a hidden skill or something because it's like all the way full, but I don't see anything popping up. I don't know what that could possibly be. Maybe it's charisma or something? I don't know. It could be. It absolutely could be. I know you're tired, my dear. I know you're tired. She's like, I'm going right to bed. Good night, good night. Laser silliness, man cats are distractible. Just shine a light on the floor. Hey, I was reading that. I was reading that. Just shine a light on the floor and hey, is that a text message? Yeah, I know, seriously. Fuzzy feelings from hugging cats. Hugging pets is quite therapeutic. Maybe it's the face full of fur. Yes, it is. She loves sitting up there watching the waves. She is definitely meant for the islands. She loves it. She absolutely loves it. She's adorable, guys. Look at her little eyeballs. She's got the cutest chubby little face with the cutest eyebrows. I love it. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this here. I hope you enjoyed the first part. First parts to anything are so awkward because it's just like, how do you start? And once you get into the flow of things, life just becomes very easy. So now that we've started, now that we've solidified and planted the roots for this challenge, I'm so excited to get further into this and I hope you guys are enjoying it. Of course, if you enjoyed this video, if you're excited for the challenge, make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up and add it to your favorites playlist right here on YouTube. Subscribe to become a little lemon and ding the bell next to the subscribe button to receive notifications for any type of upload on the channel. You can follow me on social media. Links to all of those will be down in the description box below. That includes Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, Google+, Twitch, and much more. I love you guys to the moon and back. I want to thank you for the love and support. Oh no! It's a- what is this? An earthquake or- what, wait, 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 volcanoes! We just moved in yesterday! Why are they attacking us? Are you serious? Oh my god, this is freaking awesome! And look at freaking Pearl! She's like, what's going on? Mommy, come outside! There's giant rocks of lava on the sand! And now she's like, whoa, what is going on? I'm sitting here about to end this part, and there's a giant freaking volcano eruption! Like, what is going on? Yes, go pee. Whoa, that was a powerful eruption. Daphne is lucky to have witnessed and survived such an event. Yeah, I mean, you were inside under a roof, but you never know, one of them big ass things could have like completely fell through and crushed you while you slept. That would really suck. You can make this decorative? What? I wanna break all these open. She could end up getting money for this. She could end up getting a lot of money for this. And look at all these little patches on the ground. Oh my gosh, don't step in it. I don't want you to like burn yourself. Holy crap. Yeah, break it open. One Algron rock. Yeah, Daphne found some interesting bits of geology broken inside of a lava rock. Oh, she better. So, oh, that's cool. We can send these to Geo Council. We're gonna freaking do it. Cause she's gotta complete the elements collection either way. So she might as well. Oh my goodness, guys, this is insane. But you know what? I'm gonna be honest with you guys. I'm kind of happy that that lava just hit because that's gonna kickstart everything for us, especially with this career. Yes, I'm gonna have her join the career. All right, guys, I'm ending this part right here. I wanna thank you guys for coming to watch. Thanks for being here and I will see you all next time. I already did my outro and I am not doing it again.
Bye, everyone.